So if you start to flip the extra weight that you've got and go, oh shit, this isn't body fat, this is stored fuel. Oh my God, I can stop eating for a month. This is amazing. I don't have to spend any money on anything, right? I can just like wake up and go, oh, glass of water, breakfast. Mm. <laughs> Imagine the money, cha-ching in the bank, cha-ching, right? Imagine the time. Like I do a lot of water fasting. I, I generally fast one day a week, even for a few weeks. And so, but I generally fast one day a week or I do maybe 14 days to 30 days a few times a year, you know? And I'm quite intuitive with my fasting now. I just kind of follow my gut. I wake up and go, time to fast, and then I'll fast, you know? And I'll check my body fat levels. I'll go, okay, I got a few kilos, that's okay. So I can feel myself, you know? If you're too, too slim, it can be dangerous, so you've got to be careful. Um, that's called starvation. I've yet to meet a Kiwi that has no body fat, right? It just seems to be this thing in New Zealand, right? We're all carrying a few kilos, you know? Anyway, so how we evolved was we would run out of food, and then the body would change, and it would start using its internal fuel reserves. We would run out of food and then we would fast for a period. And when you look at any of the great teachers through history, it doesn't matter what religion you look at, what philosophy, what teaching, whether it's Ayurvedic or Chinese medicine or, or you know, Christianity or Islam or whatever, they all recommend fasting for different reasons. So fasting is one of those things that's absolutely recommended as part of either a spiritual cleanse or a mental decluttering or just for the physical body. You know, it's amazing. And the beautiful thing about it is it's free. 